Good morning children. Today we are going to do some of the numericals based on the previous concept. So before going into doing the numericals, let us see the formula what we have learned children. So for the formula we have learned, speed is equal to distance by time. Velocity is equal to displacement by time. Displacement by time. From this, you want to calculate distance means distance is equal to speed into time. You might have learnt in maths. Suppose you want this distance, time which is dividing the distance will go this side and speed into time will come. Here also displacement is equal to velocity into time. Time will go this side and will multiply with velocity. Now from the same formula, suppose you want time. Time if you want. Then what happens if you see here? Time will be going this side. Speed will be coming this side. So time is equal to distance by speed. Here also time is equal to displacement by velocity. children. Speed is equal to distance by time. Velocity is equal to displacement by time. Distance is equal to speed into time. Displacement is equal to velocity into time. Time is equal to distance by speed. Time is equal to displacement by velocity. And I told you one more thing is if you want to convert kilometer per hour you have to multiply with 5 by 18 into meter per second. If you want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, you have to multiply with 5 by 18. Then 1 meter per second is equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour. If you want to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour, you have to multiply with 18 by 5. And next, this 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. If you want to convert this into seconds, 60 into 60, 3600 seconds. If you want to convert minute into seconds, you have to multiply with 60. If you have this minimum knowledge, you can do the numericals very well children. Shall we start the numericals? Then take out your notebook and pen and start writing the numerical which I am going to dictate children. Shall I start? Yes. Now down the numerical children. A train travels from city A to city B. A train travels from city A to city B. With a constant speed of with a constant speed of city A to city B. With a constant speed of 10 meter per second. A train travels from city A to city B with a constant speed of 10 meter per second and returns back and returns back with this constant speed of 20 meter per second. Then find its average speed for the whole journey. Then find its Average speed for the whole journey. I repeat children the question. If a train travels from city A to city B with 10 meter per second constant speed and returns back from city B to city A with a constant speed of 20 meter per second, then find out the average speed. You all know the average speed formula is nothing but what is the formula for average speed children? Total distance by total time. Very good children. What is the average speed formula? Total distance by total time. 
If you look into the given data, here total distance is not given. Total distance is not given. If you look into the data, time is also not given. So it is your duty to find out the distance as well as the time children. How can we find out distance and time? For example, if we don't know anything, what will we think? We will consider it as x. So let us consider x as the distance between city A and city B. City A and city B. X as the distance between city A and city B. Now, that means for the first trip, the body has travelled x distance. For the second trip also, it has travelled x distance. So, what is the total distance travelled? Total distance travelled is nothing but 2x. Total distance covered is nothing but 2x. For example, you take from city A to city B. City A to city B. This is suppose city A data. This is city B data. In A data, the distance covered is x. The distance covered is x. Then what is the speed it has travelled? 10 meter per second. Constant speed 10 meter per second. Then time, how can you find out? Time is nothing but while I am saying the formula I told you speed is equal to distance by time. If you want to find out time, distance by speed. This, you got it from this formula. I repeat, speed is equal to distance by time. Time is equal to distance by speed. Now what is the distance here children? X. What is the time here? 10 seconds. Next for B condition. For the second condition, D2 is equal to X. Second journey also X it has travelled. What is its speed here? 20 meter per second. Yes. What is time D2? Nothing but X by 20 seconds. I hope you understood children. Once again I will repeat. You want to find out the average speed total distance by total time. We don't know the distance covered. We don't know the time taken also. For that let us assume the distance between city A and city B is X meters. Now the distance covered from A to B is X. Constant speed 10 meter per second. Here time taken you want to know means X by 10 seconds. D2 is written also same distance x. S2 is 20 meter per second. T2 is x by 20 seconds. Now we have everything, the data in your hand. Let us go for calculation of average speed. So what is average speed children? Total distance. What is total distance? A to B is x. B to A is x. By what is total time? T1 by x by 10. T2 is x by 20. That means 2x. Down I can take LCM for this. 10, 20 LCM is 20 children. 10, 2s are 20. 2 into x, 2x. 20, 1s are 20. 1 into x, x. That means... When I take as receipt, this will become 3x by 20. When I reciprocate it, it will become 2x into 20 by 3x. x, x cancel. I will get 40 by 3 children. What is 40 by 3? It is nothing but the average speed of your so I repeat, total distance is x plus x, total time is t1 plus t2, x by 10 plus x by 20, x plus x is 2x and this is denominator 10, 20 LCM I have taken, 10 twos are 20, 
2 into x, 2x. 21s are 20, 1 into x, x. So 2x, 2x plus x, 3x by 20. When I reciprocate it, 20 by 3x, x, x cancel, 2, 20s are 40, denominator 3, 40 by 3 meter per second children. I hope you understood this numerical. Shall we go for the next numerical children? I will give you one minute time please note down the numerical children. Is it okay? Shall we go for next numerical? Okay. The next numerical is Suppose we imagine a square path. Square field where the formula is moving like that. A square path will imagine. Here is a square field. That is, let it be A, B, C, D. Where? Whose side is 2 meters? 2 meters. It is a square, I said no. So, everywhere it will be 2 meters. Suppose a person, a former has started his journey at A, has travelled along B, towards C, towards D, again towards A. In 2 seconds, in 2 seconds, in 2 seconds. Then find out the average velocity. Average velocity. So what is the answer for this? I repeat. Here body started from A to B, C, D again A. Then you have to find out. It has covered in 2 seconds. It has covered in 2 seconds. Then you have to find out the average velocity. What is the average velocity children? The body started from A and travelled towards B, C, D, again came back to A. That means the change in the position of a body, the displacement is average velocity is nothing but total displacement. Total displacement by total time. So what is the total displacement here? Zero. As the body has started from here and travelled like this and again came back to the same path, the total displacement is zero. And the time taken is two seconds. So average velocity is considered to be zero here. Next question. What is the velocity of a car? Take down children. Next question. What is the velocity of a car that has travelled? You have to find out velocity. P, you have to find out children. Uh, that has travelled 100 meters. So, displacement is how much? 100 meters. Displacement is equal to 100 meters. What is the time taken? It is nothing but 2.5 seconds. Then, how to calculate velocity children? Easy children. If velocity is nothing but displacement. Generally, remember displacement symbol we indicate by Yes, bar. This indicates it is a vector. S is a symbol for displacement. Displacement by time that is 100 by 2.5. 100 by 2.5, 25. If you calculate 100 by 2.5, what will you get, children? You have to multiply with 10 by 10 here. So it will become 1000 by 25. 1000 by 25. So, if you cancel this, 25 months, 25 fours, 100, one more zero will come. So, it is nothing but 40 meter per second. Repeat, displacement is 100 meter, time is 2.5 second. Velocity is equal to displacement by time. Displacement symbol is yes, as it is a vector, we will use a bar here. 100 by 2.5 into 10 by 10. 10 by 10, why will it take? We want to remove this decimal. So, 100 into 10 is 1000, 2.5 into 10 is 25. 25 months, 40 is 40 meter per second children. Is it okay? Shall we go for next numerical? Next numerical is Tina's mother drives 12 miles southwest to her favorite shopping mall. No, no, children. Tina's mother drives 12 miles towards 
south west towards south west to her favorite shopping mall what is the velocity of her automobile if she arrives at the mall in 20 minutes so time is 20 minutes then what you have to find out what is the velocity of her automobile if she arrives at the mall in 20 minutes so velocity is equal to displacement by time what is the displacement children here given displacement is nothing but 12 miles time is nothing but 20 minutes so 12 by 20 if you take to 6 are to 10 is is equal to 0.6 miles per minute miles per minute is it clear children no doubt children as this velocity you can mention the direction in the southwest direction it is s w is nothing but southwest take down next problem children you just try it on this problem next problem shall i dictate fifth problem an aeroplane flies towards south an aeroplane flies towards south and covers 300 kilometers and covers 300 kilometers that means displacement is 300 kilometers covers 300 kilometers in 30 minutes 30 minutes what is the velocity of the aeroplane i repeat children an aeroplane flies towards south and covers 300 kilometers in 30 minutes what is the velocity of the aeroplane easy children this is nothing but displacement this is nothing but time taken you have to find out velocity you try at home children displacement by time you need to convert this into meter you need to convert this into second substitute the values cancel and you'll get the answer children take it as homework children i hope you understood all the numericals children thank you children